la, 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 la. Love that song. I don't know why. There's something about it. It's called Open Those Bright Eyes. Great title. Anyway, for tonight, let's take a look at one of the best, at least one of the best lightweight Linux distributions out there. This is called Linux Lite. I took a look at this briefly uh, last year. I liked it then. I like it more so now. So if you are a beginner and or have uh, an old piece of hardware, desktop, laptop that you're trying to you know, revive, or maybe you're looking for a replacement for Windows XP, which come next year, I think in March, April, it will no longer be officially support it. So is this a good replacement for Windows XP? You know what, let's take a look. I'm running this inside a virtual machine with Ubuntu 12.04 as the host. So ignore the very top and the very bottom panel bars. All right, so you've been, you've been used to Windows XP or maybe Windows Vista and you want to try something different. This is free for download and installing, of course. Well, let's take a look if a newbie can figure this out. If you were to right click, this will give you a menu submenu pop up here. You've probably seen this before. If you wanted to change the wallpaper, go to desktop settings. And even though this is lightweight, you get a very, very nice selection wallpaper and some other options. I think for this demonstration, I'll just keep it at default setting for now. If we go to this gray panel here, you have, of course, the various shortcuts here, time and date, the uh, sound, internet, and the two uh, workspaces here. This gray panel here, if you right click, you can remove this panel, don't, because this will definitely mess you up. Now, the one thing I like about this is you can add uh, items. So you click that and you can add applets, plugins, shortcuts, as you see here. Okay, very nice. Click close. Continuing to the left, we have the terminal. Click the X to get out of that. File manager. This, I believe, is based off of uh, the X, yeah, the XFCE desktop, the Thunar file manager. And as you see here, if you've been used to Windows XP, I don't, don't think you'll have any uh, problems navigating uh, through this here. Click the X there. All right, we have, looks like Firefox is installed by default. Very nice. And as you can see, this is pretty zippy. Let's go to the menu. Now, one thing that I always look for, and yes, it is here, help and support. So if you are new to Linux or new to this specific OS, welcome to Linux Lite, simple, fast, and free. This will give you something to get started or some basic information on how Linux and this operating system works. So if you've, if you've never used Linux before, I strongly recommend that you take a look at this first to get started. Don't be scared. It's not that difficult. Uh, you don't have, to, uh, don't have to digest all this at one time, but this will get you started on how to use uh, Linux Lite. And there are some very nice screenshots. So I think it's very easy. All right, let's exit out of this. So if we go to menu, okay, and if, you, if you've been using Windows XP, this should become, oh, it, this should be somewhat familiar. We looked at help and support, uh, install updates, settings. Let's see, if we go to the settings manager, this, is, uh, this will give you something to the control panel similar to something in Windows. Click menu again. Now there are lots of pieces of software here. I won't go through each single one, but let me, let me see if I can pick out uh, anything that stands out here. Oh, if we go to settings, we did we look at the settings manager. Go to accessories. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary here. Games. Uh, Steam, the gaming client, client is installed by default. So if you wanted to play some cool games on Linux that are fairly inexpensive, definitely check this out. Graphics, the GIMP image editor, one of the best. Internet, Firefox, of course you know what that is. Multimedia, VLC, a great media player for both Windows and Linux. And let's see, let's go to the, um, yeah, let's go to the task manager and see how much RAM this is using. Well, as you can see here, my memory, and I allocated about a gig of RAM, so this is only using about 17%. Very, very light. Let's take a look at a couple more things here. Let's go to uh, the system information. And if you wanted to know something more about your computer, you can go to summary, 
about the operating system itself, you can just click operating system again. Very easy to use with with uh, the simple drop down menu, what I call click and go. It's that simple. All right, let's see. One thing here caught my eye as I was playing with this. Where did I see it? System, install additional software. I like this. You can install a, um, a weather monitor, virtual box, video editing software, and a bunch of stuff. iPod manager. Hey, if you have an iPod, will iPod work in Linux? Yeah, I think it does actually. As you can see, lots of software that is installed. Uh, you have choices to install lots more software if you so choose to. Again, if you are coming from a Windows machine, click and go. This is about as easy as it gets, and it's very pleasing on the eyes too. So, and by the way, there is a shortcut to install Linux Lite. Well, take a look at this. Uh, this is the installer here, by the way click continue and very simple to install by the way make sure you are connected to the internet and I would click download updates while installing and install third-party software let me just get out of this so yes if you are coming from a Windows machine maybe some old piece of uh, hardware or, or maybe even something newer that you just want something fast and light and if you are looking to replace Windows XP I would definitely take a look at Linux Lite. I'll have the link below in the show notes to download this version of Linux Lite. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and listening. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future. Ciao.